what are some of the biggest problems are you helping them solve when you go into a digital transformation? A lot of companies are buying Salesforce and not adopting it correctly. You've got a technology investment and we're here to help fit it to your business and make sure your business adopt it correctly and it works for you. That's a problem in itself is buying technology and not using it correctly. Companies throw a lot of money out the door every year on shelfware or really expensive technology that they're using and they could have a cheaper tool that just does that one thing they need it to do. That adoption process is a big part of what we do. The general challenge that a lot of organizations have is their profitability. As we grow our revenues, often our variable costs grow as well. Companies have to hire more staff and then you get into these bubbles like we're seeing in the tech sector where they've hired too many staff and they're like, actually, we don't need that many staff. We want more profit. And yes. that's where they lay people off. What we really focus on is helping our clients use Salesforce to increase the revenue through things like marketing automation and automating the sales process and decrease the cost of the business operation. Having chatbots and instead of having people answering phone calls. You're able to squeeze both sides and that EBIT is really the driving factor behind everything that we do. The problem that we face is a lot of companies don't yet see that as the objective. They're just really yeah. struggling to make Salesforce work for them. There's forces that will drive the decisions that are not bottom up. The board needing to reduce cost, they're forced to find ways to automate those processes or scale them so they're not so people dependent. For example, I've got a Din Tai Fung below me and they've got a robot waiter. Yes. It's not super efficient, but it does three shifts in a day, never complains, never takes leave. It maybe costs them $100,000 to buy initially, yes. but then they don't have to pay anything for salary ongoing. It's obvious to see that if you have a few robots that over maybe one to two years, they'll pay for themselves that initial investment, but then they're ultimately scalable. Yes. So that's really the value equation. Once boards grapple their head around that, the cost is so dramatic for salaries that it will force that change to happen.